story recapped here. Today I'm gonna explain a horror and thriller film called Sin Eater. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. One day, the small town's local sheriff, Isaac, inspects a car accident. Although one is already dead, thankfully, the other survived the crash, Christine. Hence, Christine is put in the care of Isaac's home, where Elijah, the town's nurse, visits her occasionally. Because of the accident, Christine had to get her jaw wired shut. Therefore, Elijah got her a text-to-speech device, even though she thinks she doesn't need it. When Elijah leaves, Christine meets Abraham, Isaac's father who lives with him. Aside from that, he's also the minister of the town's religion. Afterward, Isaac offers a drink to Christine to accompany her pain medicine. Despite being apprehensive at first, she accepts his invitation. While drinking, Isaac wants Christine to talk about what happened during the car accident. So, she asks about the woman who died in the crash. Isaac tells her that the woman was a troubled patient on a suicide watch. With the explanation, Christine reminisces about the day of the accident. When she was driving, she came across a strange woman walking along the road and offered her a ride. But even after being offered help, the woman was dismissive of Christine. When Christine complimented her earring, the woman appreciated the compliment. But oddly enough, the other pair looks like it got ripped off her ear. Noticing her rough state, Christine offered to take the woman to the hospital. But she was very adamant about telling Christine not to take her there. After having enough of Christine's forcefulness, the woman swerved the steering wheel, which made the car roll over. Because of the crash, Christine lost all her belongings. When she goes to her designated room, Abraham tells Isaac to get on with her plan toward Christine. However, Isaac is holding out on the secret plan because they still don't know Christine well. That night, she has dinner with Abraham and Isaac, who pray before the meal. Christine notices their different prayer and calls it strange, so Abraham starts asking about Christine's past. It turns out Christine isn't on speaking terms with her family anymore, saying that her family was too religious. After dinner, Isaac walks Christine back to her room and hands her a pair of pliers for the wires in her mouth. Apparently, Elijah wants her to have it in case of an emergency. As she tries to sleep, Christine gets a nightmare about her past religious trauma involving being cuffed on a chair. A priest goes around her with a thurible while chanting a prayer as she cries. Suddenly, she wakes up from the nightmare before going downstairs for a snack. However, she ends up hearing some chanting coming from the basement. When she peeks at the small crack through the door, she hurriedly goes upstairs, suddenly freaking out about whatever she saw. The next morning, Christine hears laughing coming from one of the rooms, so she doesn't hesitate to investigate. Inside, she sees a well-designed girl's room with lots of toys. There, she meets Abby, Isaac's daughter. Apparently, Abby is being kept in her room as a punishment, hence why she didn't see her yesterday. Therefore, Christine asks why she's grounded. Abby explains that she's getting punished for going downstairs during worship. Christine asks more about the religion, but Abby says she can't talk about it. Meanwhile, at a restaurant, Isaac meets James, Christine's brother. He's very distressed about wanting to find his sister, but Isaac doesn't tell him the truth. Aside from that, he also tries to send James away, telling him to just come back tomorrow. On the other hand, Christine sees a mailman outside. He lingers a few seconds outside the house while looking at her room. When she goes downstairs, she encounters Mrs. Van Den Berg, one of Abraham's loyal followers who runs chores for him. However, the woman is immediately hostile towards Christine and even chastises her for freeloading. A little while later, Elijah comes by for Christine, relieved at his presence. The two start talking over a game of chess. Christine complains about Miss Van Den Berg right away, so Elijah explains her attitude, waving it off as a religious thing. Because of the statement, Christine asks more about the town's religion. Elijah explains a bit about their belief but does not go super in-depth about it. Furthermore, they start talking about family, so Elijah mentions that his is gone. Hence, Christine shares that she ran away from home because of her family. She also mentions the woman from the accident, who apparently escaped from the hospital. But weirdly enough, Elijah becomes confused, not knowing what Christine is talking about as he doesn't recall such a patient. At dinner time, Christine asks about Abby, but the question puts Abraham and Isaac in distress, unknowing how Christine knew about Abby. It turns out Isaac's daughter went missing long ago. However, Christine is insistent that she met Abby, so she hurriedly runs back to the child's room, only to find it desolate. After confirming that Abby is indeed gone, Christine starts feeling like she's crazy. That night, Christine has another nightmare about her past. This time, she's getting whipped by the priest while her parents count every hit on her, simply letting it happen despite her constant cries. The priest tells her that there's something dark inside Christine. 
Hence, the need to cleanse her soul. When she wakes up, she feels a stinging pain in her mouth. So she goes to the bathroom, pondering whether she should use the pliers for her wires, but she decides against it. While she looks away from the mirror, she doesn't notice that her reflection is moving on its own. As she's about to drink a glass of water from the sink, she realizes that the water has become dirty. She spits it out right away, accidentally breaking the glass. She slumps down in misery, but her frustration is immediately replaced by fear when she sees a shadow walk past. Because of this, she locks herself inside the bathroom. Just then, Isaac comes to check on her, extremely worried. He guides her to the living room so she can recuperate. Isaac tells her that the shadow was probably Abraham, who tends to sleepwalk. However, Christine doesn't think it was Isaac's father. Despite that, Isaac convinces Christine that it's probably just her mind playing tricks on her. To combat her rising anxiety, Isaac offers to accompany her around town the next day for a change of pace, an invitation that she accepts and appreciates. But the kind gesture doesn't last long because Isaac starts forcing himself onto her. Confused, Christine pushes him away, not wanting to partake in anything Isaac has in mind. Because of the rejection, Isaac starts getting angry, so Christine confesses that she's gay. With that, Isaac walks away, but not without calling Christine a slur. The next day, Isaac's friend, the deputy, comes by to accompany Christine around town. However, she declines and just ends up going back upstairs. A while later, Elijah visits Christine but talks to Abraham first. Because Elijah is part of their religion's inner circle, Abraham compliments his compassion insinuating that he could make a great leader. However, Elijah is a bit reluctant in possibly taking over, especially with Isaac in the way. On the other hand, Abraham doesn't think that Isaac is fit to be a leader because of his attitude. Afterward, Elijah checks on Christine, who's having a meltdown. She tells him about what Isaac did last night and mentions the mailman, Sam. She thinks that she's being watched, pointing out that Sam has been down their street for the third time. But Elijah assures her that there's nothing wrong and that Sam is just not a good mailman. Christine also complains about the deputy and how Isaac won't let her leave with supervision. Elijah tries to calm her down, but she tells him more about the strange things she's encountered. She mentions waking up to clawing noises within the walls and meeting Isaac's alleged missing daughter. Aside from that, she mentions the weird sight from the basement, where she saw someone in a robe and people chanting. Because of this, Elijah brings her down to the basement to show her details about the religion. He calls the room a holy place and shows Christine the ancestor chair. Only those who are worthy can sit on the chair to gain the wisdom of the past ministers that led their congregation. But he notes that it isn't anything literal. When Christine tries to sit on it, Elijah immediately stops her, saying it's a special chair. Furthermore, Christine notices a strange symbol on their table, but Elijah quickly waves her off, saying it's not for sacrifices. After that, he tells her to return upstairs. But before she goes back up, she notices an earring under the table, recalling it to be the woman's missing piece. When they get back up, Isaac greets them by the door with a scowl on his face. As Isaac walks Elijah out, Christine gets a hold of Elijah's phone and searches for answers. She comes across information about the ancestor chair, and that those unworthy Worthy are burned alive. While Elijah and Isaac are arguing outside about their beliefs, she searches for details about their religion. It turns out they're worshippers of the devil and partake in rituals involving sin eaters, so she watches a video about it. Apparently, the name is as literal as it sounds, with the video explaining that sin eaters would take on the sins of the people, and the congregation would worship the sacrifice by eating them. They partake in cannibalism as a sacrifice to a demon called Azazel. When Christine searches for Azazel, she notices the same symbol of the basement table in one of the pictures. Just then, Elijah finally leaves, but not before telling Isaac that he's going to take Christine with him. As Isaac goes back inside, Christine is spooked by his presence. Isaac tells her not to leave with Elijah before he returns from work then takes the phone away from her. Once Isaac leaves for his duty, James ambushes him outside their home, still looking for Christine. Because Christine's brother is getting aggressive, Isaac urges James to follow him somewhere. That night, Christine is having another nightmare about her past. It turns out she's getting punished because of her sexual orientation. This time, she wakes up with sleep paralysis. She struggles to move as she hears clawing sounds from the walls and sees the devil within the darkness. Once she's finally able to move, she starts hearing various sounds within the walls, driving her crazy. So she starts
starts breaking through the plaster, prying the wall bit by bit until she comes across something horrible. When Elijah worriedly runs inside her room, he finds her clutching onto Abby's corpse. She starts freaking out, wanting to tell somebody, but Abraham comes by and knocks her out with his cane. Soon, Christine wakes up and finds herself being tied down to the sacrificial table. The ritual begins with Abraham sitting on the ancestor chair, and an entity possesses him. Christine starts accusing Isaac of killing Abby, a sin he confesses to being true. It turns out Abby saw the ritual and had to be killed or else she might snitch. As everyone starts the ritual of sacrifice for Azazel, Christine remembers her past trauma, particularly how she escaped from the handcuffs and successfully ran away from the clutches of her family. This time, she also manages to escape the ropes the same way she escaped the cuffs. With zero hesitance, she grabs an axe and strikes down Abraham, killing him. Christine runs upstairs, only to find that the front door is locked, so she searches for another exit. With Abraham dead, the congregation also falls into conflict. Therefore, Isaac takes reign of the minister position. However, Elijah still doesn't think that he could lead. Meanwhile, Christine comes upon a corpse in the garage, immediately stricken with grief when she notices that it's her brother. When the garage door opens, she sees the other followers blocking her path, so she hides back inside the house, but is caught right away. Back in the basement, Elijah and Isaac start scuffling because of the conflict in leadership. With Christine back downstairs, Isaac plans to continue the ritual as a new minister. In front of everyone, Isaac sits down on the ancestor chair, but things go awry when Isaac starts burning. Everyone watches in horror as the sheriff gets burned to death, proven to be unworthy by the chair. With Isaac gone, they nominate Elijah to be the new leader, but he's too afraid to sit on the chair. With everyone thrown in confusion, Christine takes the opportunity to grab the deputy's gun. Realizing that she wouldn't have enough bullets to go against everyone, she decides to just use it for herself. However, nothing comes out when she presses the trigger. Apparently, the gun got jammed, so Miss Van Den Berg points out that it's Azazel's doing. But Christine has another plan to complete the deed. She runs to the ancestor chair and sits down, hoping to burn herself. Unexpectedly, the chair deems her worthy of being the new leader. As she becomes possessed by the demon spirit, she opens her mouth to break free from the wires. Despite reluctance from others, a few of the followers start following Christine as they proceed with the ritual. But they must choose a new sacrifice. So the possessed Christine tells them to eat the weakest link of their congregation, which turns out to be Elijah. As everyone starts the prayer for their meal, Elijah continues to plead for his life. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.